Hey guys, I'm here to do a movie review on one of the best motion pictures I have ever seen. Um, the King's Speech. Uh, this movie won Best Picture. I don't know when the actual award ceremony took place. I'm guessing it was in 2011. But it was the award ceremony before the artist won Best Picture. But, um, I knew this had won Best Picture, and it wasn't on my main priority list to see. There were other movies that I wanted to see, and, uh, to be honest, it really didn't look that appealing to me. Well, when I was at Meyer one time, the movie was like, it was only like 15 bucks, and I bought it, and I took it home and watched it, and it was amazing. Like... I'm not a huge fan of movies made like today, like in recent years. This movie deserved the Best Picture Award. The movie is based on a true story, and it's about the movie is about King George the Sixth. King George the Sixth was was king before Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth is the current Queen of Britain. King George the Sixth reigned. In Britain, I think from like 1930 something to 1950 something. I'm not really sure, but King George the Sixth has a speech impediment, meaning he stutters all the time. And at the very beginning of the movie, you see him trying to give a speech at uh, Wembley, London, and he's like he fucks up the speech. He's like stuttering so much. And at the beginning of the movie, he starts out as the Duke of York. That was his title before he became king. And, like, the movie is about him trying to learn how to give speeches, and it's also about his rise to power. And his father, King George V, was king at the very beginning of the movie. And then his father dies, so then uh, King George VI's real name is Albert, but people call him Bertie. And Bertie's brother, Edward, was supposed to be king. Nobody thought Bertie was going to be king. And King Edward became, Edward became king, and he was, his title was like King Edward the Eighth, or something like that. But because of, because Edward was going to marry a woman that had already been divorced, that had already been married, she had been divorced twice, he couldn't become king. So he denounced the throne after, I think, like a year. So then King George the Sixth comes to power. And through because he's king, you know, he's gonna have to give speeches. Now there's this brand new invention called radio. I know, it's amazing, right? And uh so, you know, he's gonna have to give speeches during live on the radio and Bertie King George the Sixth, you know, reigned during World War Two. So, of course, he was going to have to give a lot of, you know, wartime speeches. So they enlist the help of a speech doctor named Lionel Logue, played by Jeffrey Rush. And he doesn't have any, like, PhDs. He never went to college or anything like that. He was just an actor who helped uh, people from shell shock after coming back from World War I. And he would help them speak more clearly. So, uh, Bertie's wife, played by Helena Bonham Carter, who's famous for playing uh, numerous characters in Tim Burton movies, and she was also pl she also played Bellatrix Lestrange in the Harry Potter movies. Um, she enlists the help of Lionel Logue to help Bertie, and like throughout the movie, their Bertie's and Lionel's relationship start out very like that they're butting heads all the time but then as the movie goes on they become really good friends um very great score by alexander desplat and i don't know what you would call this movie i'm i'm, I'm probably gonna call it a drama there are moments that'll make you laugh there are moments that'll probably make you tear up um and then the climax of the movie is when King George the Sixth gives his first wartime speech on the radio, and it's a success. Uh, 
I was extremely, extremely um, enthused about telling my friends and telling my parents about this movie because it was so good. It's just a terrific story. And while there's no really anything special about it except three great actors, we have Colin Firth who plays King George the Sixth. Helena Bonham Carter, who plays his wife, and then we have Jeffrey Rush as Lionel Logue, Timothy Spall as Winston Churchill. Timothy Spall is famous for playing uh, Peter Pettigrew in the Harry Potter movies, and uh, there was someone else. Guy Pearce is King Edward the Eighth, but it, it's a great movie. It d definitely deserved Best Picture. Um, it's also apparently it's based on a book which I really want to read now. But after watching this movie, um, King Edward VI <coughs> um, was a really great king. Probably one of the best kings Britain ever had. Um, uh, king George VI's father is played by Michael Gambon, and Michael Gambon played Dumbledore in Harry Potter's 3 through 7 Part 2. The first two movies had a different actor. <laughs> But this is a great movie. I mean, if you if you love the invention of the motion picture, you will love the King's Speech. Cannot recommend this movie more. This would definitely be like on a top ten list of my favorite movies ever. Highly recommend it. Cannot rave about it anymore. So check it out. It's amazing. <laughs>